Hello, my name is Richard and this is the new Tanda of the Week. And this week we have a Tanda with the orchestra of this man, Francisco Canaro. <laughs> Welcome to our channel Tango Music Tutorials. If you like this video then please click the like button and you can also subscribe to our channel of course. Thank you. Francisco Canaro was born in San José de Majo, Uruguay in 1888. One of ten brothers and sisters, he grew up in very poor circumstances, selling newspapers at the streets of Buenos Aires to make some money as a nine-year-old. Francisco Canaro worked up his way in music. He played the violin, composed his first tango, Pinta Brava, in 1912, and he conducted his first orchestra in 1915. By the 1920s and the first half of the 1930s, Francisco Canaro had the most successful tango orchestra, touring not only Argentina, but Europe as well. Or perhaps I should say orchestras, his brothers Juan, Rafael and Mario directed some of his orchestras on his behalf as well. Francisco Canaro recorded some 3800 tracks and he has almost 300 compositions in his name. He is believed to have actually written most, but not all of them. His career as a composer and orchestra leader made him a fortune. Canaro's best years were the late 1920s and the first half of the 1930s. Although he remained active and commercially successful in the 1940s and 50s, artistically he became less relevant from 1938 onward. Nowadays Canaro's tangos are more popular in Europe and North America than in Buenos Aires, where they are generally considered a bit straightforward and simple. Nevertheless, we do have a tanda for you with some nice instrumentals. The first track of the tanda is Todo Corazón, music composed by Julio De Caro, and it's also the very first tango that De Caro himself recorded in 1924. This version by Canaro is from 1936, and it is one of my favorite Canaro instrumentals. Make sure to listen to the violin, so delicately played by Juan José Cachestegui. The second track is Canaro's version of another composition by Julio de Caro, Buen Amigo. It's kind of interesting to see how Canaro chose to ignore, at least for now, the instant success that D'Arienzo and Biaggi were having with their revival of the rhythmical tango. And he went the opposite direction instead, recording some de Carian tangos. Buen Amigo admittedly is not up there at the same level as Todo Corazón, but it does have its charming moments. The third tango is El Arrojito, another recording from 1936. Music composed by Samuel Castriota, who also wrote the music for the very first tango canción, Mi Noche Triste. This melody has a deceptive lightness, while the undertones are quite a bit darker almost ominous. For the final track of this tanda, we go back a few years in time. It's Ojos Negros, recorded in 1932. Music written by Vicente Greco. Canaro and Greco went back quite a few years. They'd been neighbors, and in 1910, Canaro had joined the orchestra of Vicente Greco as a violinist. Ojos Negros is perhaps the most recognizable Canaro-style tango of this tanda with a clear 4x4 beat, but it does have a beautiful melody as well. So this is the Francisco Canaro instrumental tanda of this week, showing his melodical side. Todo Corazón, Buen Amigo, El Arrojito and Ojos Negros. Enjoy! <laughs> 